Welcome in. Uh, this is the So Rare set piece. I am your host, So Rare Deke. You can find me on all my social medias at So Rare Deke. And I'm here with my co-host, Robbie, Brose Canseco. Uh, Robbie, how you doing today? Pretty good, Deke. Pretty, pretty good. So since we've last been on, we talked about a little bit of a, you know, a, uh, I forget what the reference was, a, a bit of a snowball, but what was it before? Snowball him? effect in hell <laughs> was my summer. Yeah. And then we had a mini snowball effect going. That was a golf ball. Golf ball. So that golf ball has now turned into lacrosse ball. <laughs> <laughs> So you've had some success. It's great to hear. A little, um, a little, a little bit of success, success. And you've turned that success, those rewards, into flipping into players that you think are really solid and they have some upside in their price. And they're in that rare uh, kind of guys that they're undervalued and they, they have a chance to pop off. I was really surprised at some of the prices <laughs> uh, that yeah. you've got actual, absolute That's... steals. So do you want to... Len, who you picked up, maybe a couple of them. Well, this is how I kind of like got started on this whole ball and on a budget theme is, you know, I I like to find value in things. That's my job. I work in finance. So <laughs> yeah. finding, finding value, undervalued things and turning them back into value or just getting them on cheap is kind of like what I do. Um, so in the last five game weeks, I got, the top of tier three U23 limited. I got a tier two U23 limited, maybe like five or six tier three, tier five limited from other competitions. And then I also got two rare rewards this weekend. So that, that was the first for me to win two rare rewards. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and I got five $5 thresholds and a rare threshold. So all that adds up to a decent amount. Yeah. And what'd you turn that decent amount into? Uh, I turned it into a Louis Patrice who played for OH Leuven last year. Um, under 21 defender also played on the U21 Belgian team. He was going for like a couple hundred dollars for the season. He had, he went, now he's on Anderlecht, which is a much, much better team. And uh, he had like a minor injury, but now he's back starting. And surprisingly, he was only $40. So I just like had to do that. I traded out all my limited rewards as of late, like the last like month, which weren't like a ton of them, but and none of them were good. Um, and yeah, so he was basically free. I think it was like $3 and 10 limiteds that I either didn't want or were rewards. And then I dumped my two rare rewards and a rare card I didn't want and $18 for Lubicic. Yeah. From Zagreb. So great buy in my opinion. Uh he he was a stud last year. He was year. 110. And uh he has he plays on the best team in the league. They dominate a ton of matches. Uh he's got utility in Europe. Uh I was surprised at his price because I, I honestly thought it would have been like double. I uh, honestly wasn't looking at the price uh, beforehand, but if I had to just like throw a price out there, I'm like, you said about him and I'm like, whoa, that's a lot cheaper than I would have thought he would have been. And my other two rare pickups, I know we don't really talk about rares as much on this show yet, um, but I also got Jezekos, uh and I got Sam Larson. So th they just kind of like fit my gallery. They're good cat G40 guys. Yeah. So you got four really solid guys. Um, and that brings us to today. So I'm not going to talk about any of uh, my, my rewards or anything because, you know, uh, they're few and far between. And uh, our old FC Dallas uh, absolute smash spot. I, I don't want to bring that up because it, it, it pains me. Uh, you had Jesus Ferreira. I had Velasco. Um, I had both. Yeah, yeah, you had both. Um, but the lineup I had him in, Vandevoort got rotated anyway, so didn't ba didn't bother me. It was a great spot. <laughs> but we bring us to our next episode. So we've done this balling on a budget series, and we're gonna take it one step further. We did Euro, we did a little bit of MLS. Now we're gonna move up to semi pro. So we're gonna take a look at semi pro. Last week you talked about semi pro and a kind of strategy that you had. And what basically semi-pro, if you don't know about it, is 
you play with one limited card, you captain that card, and then you use the draft players from that league. So we're talking like the big five leagues. Uh, they do have MLS, but we're not going to touch on that. And you use those players, and it's an entry into the, like, the limited kind of area of the game without buying a ton of players. You have to have 10 or less limited cards to play that, and it gives you an opportunity. It might be nine or less. Nine or less? Okay, yeah. So, so uh, I'm... <laughs> We we did the cap two forty teams right yeah. for MLS and we've done them for Euro. So this would be kind of like in addition to. Yeah. So what we prepared is we're going to go through each league, so the big five, and we're going to give one or maybe a couple if there's kind of, you know, a couple that you were going back and forth through, and we're going to give these players and if we would build around them, you prepared some like draft guys that you would draft around them. But uh, it's just basically, we're going to go through each league and give a player, give a little reason why we're still trying to ball on a budget, but we are in like that, you know, $10 or so or less. Uh, yeah. We got from like 25, we got from like $25 budget. So we're like MLS lineup. Then we did like a $25 Euro budget. I proposed mm -hmm. like a few other cards that yeah. might exceed that. So, like, if anybody is totally new to So Rare, you can do these amateur drafts and you can pick, you have to pick, what, eight players? Um, each major league, yeah. You got to pick eight players yeah. and they, their L15s need to add up to being under 400. Um, so the way that Semi-Pro works is so long as you don't have more than nine, maybe 10 <laughs> limited cards. So, like, you could get a cheap... 240 team and then you could add four or five players or drop one of those first 240 players and you could sub one of these in as it works out but with semi-pro you have to play one limited from that league and you can use all the commons that you got in your amateur draft so we're going to try and find a way to maximize that which deke you won what two rewards doing this in MLS? <laughs> yeah, so I, I did. Uh, it's kind of like a, a back burner side channel, you know, YouTube Road to Glory, but it's Hill, Carl's Hill to Glory. And just with his limited, seeing how many, you know, rewards I could do for the, the end of the season, uh, I'll do a recap video on that for sure. But I was able to pick up two rewards. It's tough out there though. Like if you don't get your draft players right and like, some of these guys that are absolutely smashing, uh, you're not going to win rewards. Even if you have, like, I wasted a, a hundred from Hill and he was my captain and I still didn't get a reward, which was crazy. Uh, one of the earlier weeks, but you know, I had a guy DNP and it just kind of crushed it. So uh, you, you have to know be... it's a lot. <laughs> you want to know it's a lot more tough and sucks amateur. a lot more. <laughs> no. It, yeah. It, well, amateur for sure. But you want to know it's even 10 times worse than that is going and spending $500 to $1,000 on limited cards when you don't know how this game actually works and then realizing that you just wasted a ton of money. Yeah. And, you and can't not compete. win anything. <laughs> so my yeah. theory here is that this will like literally force you to learn everything you need to know about this game. And if you aren't able to buy one limited player and then smash with like the best possible so5 players in every league or at least do it once or twice right. or then you probably shouldn't be spending more money <laughs> yeah or you know you got to change up the strategy because it's just really not working <laughs> and, but... and and like i said we're not going and spending a ton of money but my goal also is this will build the base of a potential champ you're up to yeah so Champ Europe's tough to compete in if you're going straight into that. But these players are all guys that are solid values right now. That's kind of what we went after. And some of them aren't the best players. And I'll They're segue right, right into uh, <laughs> my first Bundesliga player, who is definitely not the best player. And that is Maximilian Arnold for Wolfsburg. Uh, yeah, I kind of went off the reservation here. I went cheaper on my Bundesliga because and he's about $7.00. Um, under contract to 2026. If you take a look at his scores, he has some poor scores for sure. Um, but my thinking is he has an L40 of, what was it? 56. So 
his scores have been better in the past. You know, if we look here, he he doesn't kill you other than, you know, as of recent, he's had some bad, but they played Dortmund, uh, Union Berlin, I mean, Hoffenheim away, um, and like he was a sub, things like that. But he's had some nice AA, and if you're trying to get into a, a really cheap price point for a guy that, yes, he could pop off um, if we, I know, keep going. Wolfsburg has so some German, really nice results. So German midfielder. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly the the mold of that. So uh, I went with him. He's 29 years old, so it's not like he's an under 23 guy or anything. The price is only a little bit, you know, more expensive, but it's under ten dollars. I wouldn't. And I wouldn't if, say that's too expensive. Yeah, but for his, you know, his last year, he's averaging a 55.1. So uh, he does have a couple upsides. I was kind of looking back to last year. I know it's a different team for sure. Um, you know what they had Cherny and. Uh, or no, Turney. Now, now, yeah. they have Turney. now they have they Turney. Had full crew, I think, right? Yeah. Or no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Either way, that's a good pick. Wasn't full crew on Werder Brown? I don't even know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Shows my uh, inexperience for sure. But yeah, I went with him. Uh, your player has a little bit of Premier League experience. Yeah, I went with Emre <laughs> Khan. Um, and the main reason I went with Emre Khan is because I, I like Dortmund. I think they are off to a slow start, but they're going to bring it together. And he was going for $27, like less than a month ago. Yeah. And I think now he's down to nine. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, he has <laughs> – he so it seems like every European player and their brother is coming down with this illness. I mean, yeah. right? It's it, – is it just me or does it feel like no it definitely um, at least a couple of players on every team okay the entire usa rider cup team went to europe <laughs> and they all got sick and yeah. now countless players in europe are mysteriously not playing due to illness yeah so I, he missed a couple starts um he's the captain of Dortmund, and yeah he he has consistency. So I think yeah. that's the biggest thing we're looking for in the semi pro is we want consistency and good teams yeah. in some places. Yeah. And with a guy like this, his down scores will bring down his cap. And like, if you want to mix and match your cap 240 guy, this guy's a really good cap 240 guy. If you just look at all these, you know, your 50 pluses, that's, that's really what you're looking for. He can also put off, pop off. He put up yeah. like a 90. Uh, he's had a few hundreds in the past. So, yeah. And he's not going anywhere. He's the captain of Dortmund. Yeah. I mean, and he's only 29. I, I feel like he's 35. I, I just don't. Me too. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bundesliga, I, I like your pick a little bit better than mine. I, I was trying to like struggle through who I wanted from the Bundesliga. I'm also a big fan of Dortmund. So I do think they're going to turn around as well. Uh, we'll go to the French League. I'm going to go to Marseille. Well, hold on. Can, oh. can we go to like the next part of our theory here? Sure. Go for it. Quickly, so here's what I would do. In my amateur draft, I'm not trying to play an amateur at all, okay? I'm going to go at every position, and I'm going to get 40s for everyone. And what I'd do is I'd pair Emre Khan, so I'd get commons of Schlotterbeck and Kobel. So then I got them with Khan. Then i get Kimmich, and i get Kane. Yeah. That's my starting five for the Bundesliga. Yep, completely. The 40s allow you to just spend up everywhere. You're not worried about the depth. The depth you don't need anyone else. And yeah, so you're just absolutely. But if I can matches. pair <laughs> Kimmich, Schlotterbeck, Khan, Kobel, and Kane, that could, that could do some damage in Central. Yeah. And you're a Dortmund clean sheet away from you know podium <laughs> possibility. I know there's a lot of entries, but that that's kind of the upside that you're looking for. And that's that's, a that's great call. That's kind of like where we're gonna ease into. Yeah, that's yeah. So uh, I'm going to go to the French League. I'm going to go with uh, Rangier, I believe is how you say it. Is that how you say it? <laughs> um, so he is about the $10 range. Uh, it was kind of another one. His price dipped down. It's kind of coming back a little bit. But uh, for Marseille, if we just take a look at you know his recent form, uh, I was trying to identify people who have had some poor form and whether or not that is his fault or you know schedule. So... He's played Brighton, he's played Monaco, PSG, and Ajax, uh, all in this stretch, and it's it's been tough stretch for sure. But if we look, he has those games that are better, 
but I was just looking kind of AA. Like if he has a good matchup and even a half decent matchup, and I'm kind of just looking back to last season. Last season he was a smasher. Um, well, yeah, he's been through the buzzsaw at the beginning of this season. Yeah. Jesus. So once he starts hitting uh, against, uh, let's look at his current schedule. Um, you know, promoted team. Okay, a, uh, Athens here in Europa League. Lyon, who's been terrible, they still are winless, right? That's crazy. Um, so they, you still have a stretch to get through. But on the other side of it, it doesn't get much better. But with the away sides, but it doesn't uh, you, get worse. It, it doesn't can't get, get worse. worse. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the key. Yeah. So uh, and I'm guessing that all these teams have played all the other shitty teams. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> the other poor teams, and that is why you know they have opponent scores that are low. Right. Yeah. So that's that's why I went for. I thought he had some upside of. I mean, his L five is forty two. So you know we have a thirteen gap there from his L forty. Uh, I think that's a, a nice ten dollar range that he can uh, have some massive upside for Marseille. And we'll go to yours. You have a, a little mixed bag here for us. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what you want to spend. Um, I really, really like the back line of Reims. I think I mentioned it in the last one that I think that Okumu is amazing. Um, look at his last score. Thank you very much for winning me a reward and cap 270 rare. <laughs> the old 97, 62 AA. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of impressive. Yeah. And so last year you have Agbadu. Um, and if you look at his scores, he will also smash. So a lot of people have been saying that neither of them can play winger, but like Okumu basically played attacking wing at points for Ghent last year. Agbadu did the same. I kind of went all in and I have both their rares and I have both their limiteds. Um, because I think eventually they're going to start together. And when they do start together, they're going to realize how awesome that is. And yeah, so I think if you want to go on the cheap side, you can pick up Agbadu. And Abdelhamid is another huge bargain. Yeah, just want to throw him in there too. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is that if you have Abdelhamid, Okumu, and Agbadu... <laughs> Doesn't matter if they rotate, you know, those are <laughs> yeah. three guys who can put up massive, massive scores. And I think you can get all of them together. This isn't specifically for semi pro for semi pro. Right. You pick one. Yeah. Um, or you buy all three and you use two in your cap 240 and one in your semi pro. Yeah. And $17 for the three of them basically. And that's crazy with some of the scores that they have. It's insane. With some of the scores, Agbadu <laughs> is like, He's still like in the top thirty ranked defenders, and yeah. he hasn't even and, been playing. So, and he's at has this zero, week, you know, and some of these in here. This upcoming game week is the first time that Play Sharper has said that all three will play on the, that they're predicted to all yeah. three play. Ooh, wow, that's exciting! Exciting times. <laughs> so let's see, uh, where do you want to go next? Yeah, and I just pair them with like. You can't do PSG and amateur drafts, so I just get like Beauregard, Lazemalu, Cabela, Balogun, DF. You know, I, yeah. I'm not a huge French league guy. I don't know that much. So no, and like in the draft, I feel like you can't get many players. I know Ren's on there. I love Ren. Um, and Balogun's great. You know, yeah, yeah. Two pens miss, but uh, I mean, Cherokee, how often is that going to happen? <laughs> Cherokee, Cacare, Balogun. You know, all the usual suspects. Yeah. Um, let's go to Spain next. Um, right. I, I love my Spain pick, so uh, I'm gonna go with Danny Pareo. Uh, <laughs> you you know. yeah, that's uh, I I had his limited at one point. Um, and I just traded him out for my Jazakos, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I knew you I'm, had him at some point. <laughs> I'm sorry, John Nellis. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, that's his boy. So he's around $12, which is kind of crazy. Um, we go three months. Let's actually go. I know, I know it's a different time, but like he was, you know, 50 plus dollar and then he's just kind of come down to life. Uh, I, in my opinion, I think the decisives are going to come. He only has one decisive so far. Um, 
He's gonna start I said that all last decisive. season since I bought him. Since, <laughs> yeah. since Nellis told me that he was the best <laughs> midfielder of all time. Yeah. And this I was mean, right when I think started playing so rare. <laughs> and so, like, you, and he was, but. You look at the scores. His AA is crazy. He has that podium hunting type of, yeah. you know, mix of AA. If he gets a decisive, great. If he doesn't, he's probably going to get 60 to 70. And uh, you keep looking back. I mean, he, he doesn't really disappoint that much, but he has disappointed a little bit so far this year. So. What I looked I mean, at you're is falling on a budget. We're not podium hunting. Yeah, but we are. Though, but he's a great. He's a great pick him, right now because he's a great pick. <laughs> they have uh, Las Palmas at home. That should be crazy. Uh, Alves at home. Uh, Maccabi Haifa at home. Shout out to Jonathan. He knows all the <laughs> Israel. And then at Granada, <laughs> you know, it's it's not these three matches. I feel like he's going to get a decisive, and if he doesn't, there he might never. <laughs> All right, you, you had to bring up that he's got a good match against Los Palmas. So <laughs> So he has to, right? He has to score. No, 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 no. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna counter your Parejo. Okay. As you're as you're saying he's got an easy matchup against Los Palmas. Yes. So like my first and this isn't actually well, no, 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 no. Since you had Parejo and then you had a shit on uh Palmas, <laughs> Vieira of Palmas. Okay. Jonathan Vieira. Oh, I had him. Come on. Is it I R A? Let's type in John. E I E R A. There you go. E R A, yeah. I knew I was missing something. Yeah. Right. Five dollars not even five dollars. So you know, should we make a gentleman's bet on who will get a better score? <laughs> Next game? Sure, yeah. I mean, I will say, Vieira, whenever I was going through, I was like, man, he's really high on the L40 list. And I was like, yeah, he's pretty solid. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's on the road, so he'll have but one of these yellow scores. My, <laughs> my real La Liga pick, and this will be like one of my only two splurges here, yeah. uh, is Rudiger. Yeah. Rudiger, no floor price, but around $20, yeah. But he's been going for like 15, 16. Yep. And you guys don't need to get the brand new season cards. <laughs> Honestly, the, the the XP bonus is not really going to matter that much in semi-pro. So my recommendation would be to get the last season cards. Um, and my plan was that I would pair him with Bellingham. So in my amateur draft, I would get Bellingham, uh, Ter Stegen, Vinny Jr. and then I get Ferran Torres since yeah. Lewandowski is out. Yeah, that's a big pickup. Um, and I think that that crew could do some damage. And you could even throw in like Camavinga or Chuameni or one of those guys if, right, if yeah. you don't like one of the other picks. But Bellingham's yeah. lock. Yeah, you can't not play Bellingham. <laughs> he just all he does is get decisives. And like, uh, I mean, I I would have thought he might have like his scores went down a little bit on the move from Dortmund maybe um but yeah I was so wrong about that he's just been a killer um so yeah anyone you can play around him do it especially that's why I was saying Vinny Jr. Semi-pro. just is back from injury he has yeah. like a low L15 so if yeah. you put those three Madrid guys with Ter Stegen and Ferran Torres like or Dijon or whoever. I mean, these are just suggestions. But. Yeah. I mean, you can't really go wrong. <laughs> um, what do you think? Uh, we'll save Prem for last. Uh, we'll go Serie right. uh, I'm going to go to Atalanta. Martin uh, Darun. Uh, he's under $10. So kind of looking at his price, it has kind of come up a little bit from where he was, which is fine. But if we take a look at his scores, he's just kind of a consistent guy usually. And this season he has been too. Uh, he actually had some decisives, which you know is kind of. Is he D or mid? Uh, he's a mid. Um, okay. So I went with him. Low scores at times, uh, but the AA is there uh, against Juventus. Thirty AA in that uh, nil-nil draw. Yeah, that's tremendous. Um, he's around that fifteen to twenty range, twenty plus sometimes. But he's gonna get the the AA. 
that is kind of going to be needed. And then you can kind of work around. Um, I would admit that out of the five leagues, I would say Serie A is probably my my lowest knowledge. But yeah. um, that yeah, league gun for me. Yeah, same for sure. Um, but kind of looking at him, he still plays for Netherlands. Uh, it's kind of like a rotational basis, but he has been in the team. So he does have that international, not that you get somebody just for international duty, um, especially if you're playing the semi-pro route. But uh, he does, you know, a great fixture against France, right? <laughs> um, that looks like but, fun. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully France isn't playing like Gibraltar this uh <laughs> This, this, this is upcoming. opponent score against Greece, 29. <laughs> Greece must just be popping off. I don't uh, – yeah, I don't know. So th this is why you can't just always trust the <laughs> data algo. Yeah, there's just not enough data on it or something going on here. But uh, I guess Greece just is locked down against mids. <laughs> Evidently. Yeah. And then uh, your play here. Well, I – since you had an Atlanta guy, my cheap one is uh, another Atlanta guy. Defender, okay. Zapacosta. Uh, but yeah. he, Let's he's talk about like him a, first. Let, yeah, pull him up. He's a nice cheap one. He's just solid, consistent. I, yeah, scores-wise, I mean, he's definitely solid around the 50-ish area plus, and then he can pop off. And for $4, I mean... That's that's a nice value for sure. But this, by real guy, he's a bit of a feast or famine type. Um, he gets a lot of yellow cards <laughs> um, and red cards. And he, I mean, he's, he's a bit of a wild child, to say the least. Like, I've watched him play a couple of times, and he is just a maniac. He reminds me a bit of Danny Alves, like a young Danny Alves, okay, where Danny yeah. Alves didn't have his temp temper under control. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, so like you see a lot of DMPs because he's most often suspended. Yeah, the old or he's got into like a fight with a teammate <laughs> or a coach or gotten like a small injury. So like he is a maniac, but when he does play. <laughs> Does this guy go off? When I mean, I would just cat like there was a point last year. I don't have him anymore, but every midweek I would captain him <laughs> two seventy yeah. team, and it was either gonna be a DNP or a red card <laughs> <laughs> or like a ninety to a hundred. And the amount of rewards I won with captaining him and to cap 270 is it was ridiculous it was like one week red card okay can't play the next week all right next week. look yeah so it's a beautiful this stretch chart. right like, there that is, <laughs> that is but hold on look at all the dnps <laughs> he has more yeah. dnps but when he plays like you said but when he plays <laughs> he gets great. decisives and he goes nuts and this is probably why he gets suspended so often. <laughs> He's just a total loose cannon. Yeah, I love it. So yeah, I don't what... know. For like fourteen bucks, I mean, yeah. he he could be the. Uh... He's down to eleven now. Floor place is eleven. Oh, yeah, even better. Great, even even better. Um, Loved him at fourteen. Love him even more at eleven. No, I didn't love him at fourteen. <laughs> That's why I like didn't really consider him but yeah if he's if he's at 11 then yeah that's I, I take him i might go get him right now but yeah <laughs> like i said you can build him or with a team what i would do if it were me i'd get you know the usual suspects again oshimhen kavicha yeah i don't know there are a lot of consonants in his name everybody he's, knows who i'm talking about the georgian yeah <laughs> the, yeah, Kavicha Kavarcha Kala La La. Um, is that That's how you say I, it? I don't know. That's how I say it. <laughs> Sounds good it's, to me. It's wrong, but it's how I say it. <laughs> I same with like Karan Mac Turkuglu. Uh yeah. it's not even gonna go so, there. <laughs> yeah, with the Galatasaray. <laughs> so Oshimhen, Kavicha, and him, and then I'd probably go with like Luis Alberto on Napoli, and then you know, pick your goalie at 
Theo Hernandez and, you know, find a goalie. Yeah. I don't know much about Serie Yeah, that's uh, that's for other experts for sure, uh, <laughs> you know. But I'll go to a league that we definitely, at least I feel like I watch a lot of, of um, in the EPL. I watch a ton of EPL, but, you know, the intricacies of it, uh, sometimes I just, you know, some of the teams I just don't follow as much. But we go with Josh Cullen, a, a dumpster dive. And let's ignore his uh, upcoming schedule for a second. Um the Chelsea match, you know, Chelsea, how they've been doing. But he does have international with Ireland uh, and a sweet match with Gibraltar. But let's ignore that. Um, so Josh Collin, I know that he has some scores from, you know, last season playing in the championship. Um, Burnley has had a tough start for sure. Um, tough draws. Oh, really? <laughs> Promoted team having a rough start? Shocking. Yeah. And, uh, how weird. <laughs> I do want to say schedule-wise, uh, it, they've had a rough start to schedule more i would say uh i know they had some home matches but city uh aston via tottenham uh at four should have you know they got a point great uh man united actually beat somebody uh newcastle and then they were able to <laughs> they were able to <laughs> to pull it out and you know the the fixture of the season for everyone uh i guess luton town but uh yeah so his scores haven't been great but he's one of those consistent guys that's even playing up <laughs> I think especially at home, if you're looking for like dumpster dive in the EPL, which I was looking at the prices and man, it's tough out there. There's a lot of expensive guys and I was trying to find someone with value and like, unless you're paying like $20, uh, <laughs> there, there's a steep cliff to finding anyone who, you know, plays, he plays every single match. Um, uh, Josh Brownhill is pretty good for Burnley too. And then, yeah, I was looking at him too. And I just know that I had Josh Cullen, but he was at Anderlecht before this. Right, I think so. Um, but he did make that move. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's underlooked, but either way, um, I like your play better. <laughs> He's a, a well. Sexier this is pick. this is a splurge. Yeah, yeah. Th this would be like the big. Actually, this is the splurge. Yeah. Um, there you go. Dwight McNeil, under twenty three. Great A. A lot of people thought he was going to fall off. He hasn't. He's just very, very good. Yeah. He's yeah. a baller. Yeah. Even with Everton, you know, being Everton. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. He he is legit, um, at least in my book. So I think at $20, that's who you're going to get. And like I said, kind of like my – my not so long term planning was like, all right, let's get a couple defenders, a couple midfielders. We need at least one good striker. I'm going to splurge on that. It's going to be McNeil. So, you know, form like a base for a Champion Europe team. Yeah. Um, but think about the guys you could build around this in the Prem. So you'd go with Saka, Sala, Allison, and Trent. Yeah. I think that that team would do some damage. It's yeah. semi pro. For it's sure. Semi pro. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, Trent, I mean, th those guys are all just elite. Yeah. They're all smashers. And if you have a forward that, you know, can play well, uh, and, you know, maybe even draft Onana too. You know? <laughs> I actually like Onana for Everton, but yeah, never draft him. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about... talking about Manchester Onana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh na na no. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, by the way, so Manchester United has lost six of their first ten matches in all competitions. If they lose one more, that will be an all-time record. Wow, that's crazy. That and is... they spent the amount of money they spent on Onana and Hodgland. And <laughs> yeah, ten kind of fun to laugh at. Hot water for sure. Um, but yeah, here we have our list. I kind of just threw them all into. Uh, I think, let's see, where are there? Who are the ads? I didn't throw in any of the ads, but uh, if you take a look here, uh, you did have your forward. I didn't pick up any forwards, but your long term planning makes sense for you to actually be able to field a team and do others. I kind of went the midfielder, like cheaper route, uh, but I like what you did. All champion players, we know that. Uh, I like our age mixes. Uh, the two over 34s, you, you just love to see that. Uh, and then one under 23, which was McNeil. 
And just kind of looking at their prices, yeah. Uh, Rudiger and McNeil were the highest. And, you know. Uh, we were we were splurging a little bit. Because, we like I said, maybe bit. this is a future champ European. So, yeah. So, potentially. You, it, you have some nice building blocks here. And I think with these building blocks, if you want to pivot and, you know, pick up a few other players, uh, you know, on a bigger budget, not balling just on a semi-pro budget, you can always do that. Um, the pro leagues, you can move on to that. Uh, what it is? Yes, one, that's a very good point. One common, and then four limited, right? To play in that. And I think we gave op like two to three options in each league. So, yeah. and these guys aren't the best guys in the league. We're not going to go out and say, "Hey, you should get Holland." You know, like that's that's not what we're here to do. <laughs> No, if you want to spend way too much money and make poor decisions, then just go look at my gallery. Yeah, and also look at what I did as well, and it was just horrend horrendous uh, decision-making, but you learn from your mistakes, and hopefully people watching this won't make these same mistakes that we did. So uh, <laughs> we'll be back next week with a, another show, and thanks for watching. If you could like the video, if you made it this long, that'd be great for us. And if you have any kind of feedback or anything for us, let us know in the comments and, you know, we will talk about anything on here, whatever everyone wants to hear about. So uh, I think that's us signing off. Any last words? I don't think we're going to be balling on a budget next episode. We're going to be moving on up. Moving on up. All right. We'll see you next time. Golf ball to lacrosse ball. Let's go. Let's go.